I'm back out in my garden again today and plan to relay some track for the Linley's Garden Railway. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. During this springtime I've been working on the main Linley station, but to do this the track needed to come up. Today the track gangs are out and will be working hard on the relaying of lengths of track at least to connect up the suburban lines right through the middle of the station along platforms 2 and 3. First off though, as is usually the case in my garden, some sweeping up is needed. I've got a set of tools already put together in a grab bag for relaying track. The main tools included is a hammer drill with a 5mm masonry bit, an old pair of wire cutters, a small hammer, a power screwdriver and a small angle grinder with a thin metal cutting disc. Oh yes, and a pair of strap-on knee pads too, to save my old knees. In a tray I've got some fixings I use, a plentiful supply of replacement track joiners, red raw plugs and a box of one and a quarter inch stainless steel screws. The track through the station here has been up and down a few times over the years. Even this time won't be the very last as I need to install all the control cables in a cut groove in the track bed. I'll be able to use the same track pieces in the same place and the fixing points though at least. Trimming the length of the rails with the little cutting disc is so much easier than using a hacksaw and all is good as long as I'm very careful to cut in exactly the correct place. Generally each length of track will have three or four screw down fixing points, usually four actually. To close up the joints I use an old pair of wire cutters. These reach over the track from above and grip the lower edge of the track quite well. A few taps of the hammer sideways is usually all that's needed to budge the rail along to close up the gap in the track joiner. With the tree cover giving quite a lot of shade in my garden and the relatively mild temperatures in England, I've never found the need to leave much in the way of an expansion gap between the rail sections. I bet in hotter climates though, little gaps may be a good idea. Thank you. 
The wooden batten provides an ideal combo of a straight edge and a distance guide from the platform edge. Low tech, but more than adequate. This length of track has had a rough time and several sleeper sections have broken away from the rail. I'll have to shorten this track section a little bit. Unfortunately here, the cable groove left from before is not in the correct place. Further along I filled it in, but here it's along the centre of the track instead of being to one side. I'll need to fill it in and then recut the groove at another time. Time now for a cheeky weekend afternoon beer. The surface of the track bed concrete here is actually rather good and smooth. Sometimes I have to fettle a little bit using an angle grinder and skim off a few millimetres or some bumps. Track work today is a basic mechanical fix down job at this time, including the use of electrical connectors between the rail lengths. I will need to go back along the track and ensure there is a continuous electrical conductivity all the way along the line, but I won't have time to do all of that today.
getting there and one step nearer in having trains running back through Lindley Station. There is always more to do, of course. If you have time, please watch another Lindley's Garden Railway video. There are many about the trackbed and engineering projects, as well as others about the control system I've developed for the railway. Thanks for watching and bye for now.